hey there guys what's up the android mine here and welcome back to another video so as you can tell from the title today i'm going to be going over a list of things that are secret quote unquote you might know about some of these if you didn't know about all of these let me know in the comments below how many of these you did know and how many you didn't because some of you people may be the experts of minecraft and you might know everything i'm going to tell you in this video but some of you may not know everything and you may find out something new within today's video so let me know in the comments below what you did know and what you didn't and if you do enjoy smash a like while you're down there commenting and subscribe while you're at it with notifications on if you haven't already but let's go ahead and get into the secret features you may not have known about minecraft we're going to start off with something very simple to start off the video guys something very very simple but it's that you can actually put bamboo into a flower pot and it looks like an apple kind of with a really long stalk kind of looks a little bit weird but that is the first thing the second thing is also to do with bamboo and again it's not really too special but you can actually use bamboo as a source of fuel it's not very efficient as you can see it's getting burnt away so quickly but you can use it if you don't have anything else i guess the next thing is also to do with bamboo and it's that you can actually use bamboo to make yourself sticks you get two pieces of the bamboo and you get one stick from it so pretty cool let's move on to the next one next up we have a secret to do with the cats and it's actually that once you've tamed it you can actually dye its collar most of you might have known about this and what is going on with this cat right here i think this cat is broken if we go ahead and try and get it to stand up there we go we can actually go ahead and dye its collar as you guys can see you may have already have known this it's quite obvious because you can dye a dog's collar so it's pretty obvious but in case you didn't know you can actually dye a cat's collar another really cool thing you can do with the cat is that it'll actually sleep on your bed with you at night time as you can see it's sleeping on our bed with us isn't that cute it's very amazing I can hear skeletons oh wow okay next up we have a secret to do with the amazing panda now just before i get into this i have made a video talking about the panda already and this secret i'm going to tell you i did actually talk about it in that video but if you haven't go ahead and watch that video because i go over some other things to do with the panda that i'm not going to go over in this video today because i don't want to overdo it but basically pandas can eat cake if you go ahead and drop it on the floor they will pick it up and they will eat that lovely jubbly thing as you can see isn't that cute look at the panda chomping on that cake i don't know why that is an addition but you might not have known about it but there you go pandas um they seem to like sweet things they seem to like cake and while we are on the topic of pandas the way that you breed these pandas is you actually need to have bamboo near them you need to have at least eight pieces of bamboo near them so we have one two three four five six seven and i think that's nine pieces but anyway you have to have at least eight pieces of bamboo and then you can go ahead and breed them if you don't have that bamboo there you cannot breed them unfortunately and quite a lot of people actually didn't know this so now you know that is how you breed a panda you need to have at least eight pieces of bamboo near them and that's how you do it pretty cool and look at this cute little baby let's go ahead and feed it so a really cool thing to do with the baby pandas is if they sneeze they actually have a chance of dropping a slime ball for you now i'm probably not going to be able to get that on video but just imagine this little baby panda is sick it's poorly it sneezes and it has a rare chance of dropping a slime ball so it's pretty disgusting you're picking up its bogeys it's kind of disgusting but it's a cool way of getting slime balls i'm pretty sure most of you wouldn't have known about that so yeah, you can actually get slime balls from these little critters right here. Pretty cool. So the next thing is actually a secret thing that you can spawn within the game. So you need to go ahead and do slash summon Minecraft, then those two dots and put NPC. And then go ahead and press enter and you'll get this thing right here. It kind of looks like a villager, but a female version. You can do nothing with it though and you can't hit it. It doesn't move. It stays stood wherever it's spawned. I literally don't know what this is but shout outs to the person that i watched the video from actually to be honest while i'm talking about shout outs i am not the one that found out every single one of these secrets i will link a video down below to a video that i watched from another person i didn't find out all these by myself i did watch a video for some of them because i needed more to put onto the list you know to give you guys more secrets but quite a lot of them i did find out by myself just through playing the game but yeah links down below to a very awesome video that you should probably watch but yeah this thing right here i don't know what it does i'm pretty sure that it is actually from education edition of minecraft if you don't know what that 
is. It's a different version of Minecraft and this thing right here you can use it in Education Edition to do some things. I really don't know but that is how you spawn this dude in. It could be used in adventure maps or something as like an NPC that just sits there or stands there should I say. I really don't know but it's pretty cool. It's like a big Squidward dude. So I showed you guys that you can use bamboo as a fuel but you can also use the brand new crossbow as a piece of fuel as well and it's way more efficient than the bamboo. Still isn't that efficient but one crossbow equals one smelt so yeah pretty cool. I did already showcase this off in a video I did about the crossbow. You should go ahead and watch that to find out some more secrets to do with that but I want you to just add one little secret in right there. Kind of simple, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, so this one is also to do with the crossbow, and it's the fact that you can actually shoot rockets with this crossbow. So what you want to go ahead and do is put the rockets into your offhand, and then just go ahead and shoot, and it will shoot rockets. It's that simple. It's that cool. It's actually pretty amazing, to be honest. Pretty cool feature. I don't know why they added it, but it's pretty amazing. I don't think it can harm animals or stuff. Just, oh no, it can. Wow, okay, I'm really sorry, Panda. I didn't know that it actually did that. So it seems like you can actually use these rockets as a form of attack. So it isn't just kind of a way to shoot them into the sky. You can actually use it to attack things. I'm really sorry about that, Mr. Panda. I didn't mean to hurt you, I didn't realize. So I don't know how much of a secret this is, but they actually added in new dyes within the game, within this new update. So if you go ahead and type in dye, you can see that we actually have black dye, brown dye, we have white dye, and I think there's another one, but I'm not sure. Oh wait, blue dye, there we go. So normally we wouldn't have white dye, or black dye, or brown dye, or blue dye. We would actually have to use, for example, you would have to use lapis as blue dye, or you would have to use the cocoa beans for brown dye. You would use ink for black dye, and then you would use bone meal for the white dye, but now they've added in their own actual dye, so that's pretty cool. Don't know how many of you knew about that, but they have added them in, so that's pretty amazing. Okay, so next one, you can actually make an end rod using a new crafting recipe. This was never in the game before, but it now is, so you need to go ahead and get yourself a popped chorus fruit and a blaze rod and put it just like this and you will get four end rods so that's pretty cool we never had this before it's now been added so i thought i'd let you know okay so next up i'm showing you another thing that can be used as a fuel i know that i've already showed off two things but i want to add this one in too it's the fact that you can actually use scaffolding as a source of fuel and as you can see they actually last for quite a while so this is very very efficient in my opinion as you can see, we're still on the first one and it's like barely even at halfway yet. So this is a very efficient source of fuel if you for some reason don't have any coal or anything else to use. This is very, very efficient. We're still on the first one and we've already smelted, as you can see, three pieces of iron. It's pretty cool. I'm actually going to see how many it can smelt per one, so just give me a sec. Okay, so per one scaffolding, it seems you can actually smelt six. So that is pretty efficient in my opinion that is very very good so for the next secret you may not have known is that the sick panda is actually weaker than any other panda including the baby panda even the baby panda is stronger and has more health than the sick panda it kind of makes sense because when you're sick you're totally not feeling well and you don't have as much energy and stuff but as you can see right here we have one sick panda let me go ahead and move him and then we have one normal panda so with a diamond sword it takes one two three hits to kill a normal one and for this poor little sick one it takes only two hits as you guys can see I mean, I don't know how useful that is because I'm hoping you're not going to be going around killing all these cute little pandas you should take them as your pet but yeah, thought I'd add that in. So for the last and the final secret, it's actually to do with in your game settings. So go over to world and then go over to game, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can see we have the reset random tick speed. Now if you don't know what tick speed is, this is the speed that crops grow, the speed that grass grows. It's just like the speed of things that happen. So as you can see, the normal tick speed is one, but you can set this to literally any number you want and 
you can make your crops grow faster and things like that so let's go ahead and set this to let's just go ahead and go crazy and just do like 5,000 we can't go any higher we can't put more zeros so you can only do four digit numbers but let's go ahead and do 5,000 and go on to reset wait, wait wait never mind you don't actually press that you just keep it like that so type it in keep it like that and now if we go back into the game you can see that it's updated it to this number so it looks like the highest you can actually go is that number right there which is 4096 let me go ahead and actually just turn it to day and we are going to go ahead and make ourselves a little farm so let's go and do why is it not letting me till this bit oh wow i had a little bit of like Whoa, what's going on right now Oh wow, I think it's because I've set the tick speed so fast and it's made that just grow super fast. Wait, can I not do it? Wait, no. Oh wait, guys, okay, because the tick speed is on really fast, it makes the tilted thing go away really quickly. Wait, can we place down water? Will it still go then if if we have it? Is it going to go? Okay, so it stays if you place down water, but... Okay, let's go ahead and place all this down. Come on, let's go. Because my tick speed is really high, it's making my game, like, not know what it's doing. So I wouldn't advise you put it as high as what I have. So guys, don't be like me. Don't set your tick speed that high. I'm going to go ahead and set it to um, a thousand. Let's see if this makes any difference. Okay, it's on a thousand right now. Is my game still going to be broken? It isn't letting me plant this. Okay, why is it not letting me plant? I'm Oh, I'm silly. It's because I had wheat in my hand. We need to get seeds. Okay, here we go now we can do this so this is gonna grow way faster than it normally would as you can see it's already growing right now it's gonna grow so much faster as you can see it's basically grown come on just a little bit more just a little bit more but as you can see this is totally faster than what it would be if it was set to one which is the normal tick speed this is super super fast so you can change this within your game to grow your crops faster as you can see that bamboo grew really really fast it's a pretty cool option, in my opinion, to change. It's pretty amazing. It means you're going to get things done way faster within your game, which is pretty amazing. So that is it for all these secret features within Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.8 and Minecraft Java Edition 1.14. These are all the secret features that I found out. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know down below how many of these you didn't know so that I know if this video was um, kind of useless or if it was actually good let me know and while you're down there go ahead and smash a like and subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already i would really really appreciate that and i'll catch you guys in the next video don't forget stay awesome see ya bye bye